You're looking at Lori Hernandez, live here in Chaffetz Arena in St. Louis, Missouri, on the campus of St. Louis University. Al Troutwick, Tim Daggett, Maskia Lucan, Andrea Joyce. And if I'm, tell me to get over it, but I still can't get over her floor score. Yeah, it was, it was, it was very strict, that's for sure. And it's funny, she was over chalking and then she went back to her bag. It looked like she grabbed a few extra rubber bands for some of the gymnasts to use them on her grips, on their grips to kind of keep the finger holes in or the buckles. And this is a place where she can contribute to Team USA without question. She's much improved on uneven bars. Does a whole bunch of release skills that are in what we call a Tkachev, named after a great Soviet gymnast. She does a bunch of variations on that. Beautiful. Nicely done. Right rock solid to that handstand. Little short there, though. Big time. Master, we have some concerned citizens here. That they want to know why we as a country always seem challenged on the uneven bars. <laughs> I'm really not sure. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> she's into it. That was really great. I mean, remember, she's a first year senior. Watch, she'll go right into this beautiful reverse hack door. Takachev. Now she'll do this one from a stalter, that straddle element, and her legs are together. She's allowed to do a third one because this time it'll be different. She'll keep her legs apart. Watch right there. They're apart and we call straddled. She transitions down to the low bar. Is this the best uneven bars that we've seen tonight? No, no, it's not. Madison Koshin's certainly was a little bit better, but this is but a this very a, strong. This was a great one for her. And you see she lands with or finishes with a full twisting double back. Sticks that landing. Gymnastics 101, baby. <laughs> Fly high and stick the landing. I've never heard that before. <laughs> That's the second highest uneven bar score so far tonight. One last rotation to go in night 